When creating logos, football clubs often use similar elements and images. So let's talk about some impudent thieves who shamelessly copied someone else's symbols and aren't even sorry. In the late 1940s, Liverpool introduced their logo, which was then used on club products, match programmes, postcards and much, much more. And after 20 years, the Merseysiders' eternal rivals, Manchester United, showed a new updated logo in which there were a large number of obvious similarities with the Liverpool crest. It's clear that Manchester United simply stole the ideas and emblem of their eternal rivals. But Man United don't agree with that assessment, and this dispute remains unsolved. The Red Devils fans are convinced that when creating the logo, the club based it on the municipality crest. But Liverpool fans, of course, have a completely different opinion. Real Madrid also did not escape plagiarism. The logo of one of the most successful European clubs of all time was brazenly stolen in Bolivia. The team from the city of Potosi not only named itself Real, but also borrowed the concept of the Los Blancos logo. The imitators copied the circle, the diagonal stripe, and the crown. The only thing different is the figure inside the logo. The Bolivians had the decency to do that at least. Apparently, the thieves from Potosi thought that together with the logo, the glory of Madrid would also pass on to them, but that hasn't seemed to work. The fake Real from South America won its last trophy in 2009. Barcelona have also been victim to unimaginative football clubs. At one time, the Catalan's logo spread across several countries at once. For example, the concept of the logo was borrowed by Italian Sassuolo, Marseille Consola, Romanian Otilul, and Forest Green Rovers. Some of those teams later officially apologised to Barca for plagiarism and carried out a correct rebranding. And yet there were some frankly arrogant copycats with whom Barca decided to sue in 2013. Apparently, the Ecuadorian team of the same name from the city of Guayaquil simply knows no shame. They replaced the FCB abbreviation with BSC, very original there removed the golden frame, added stars, repainted the ball white, but it's still an obvious copy of the Blaugrana logo. Obviously, being Barca and protecting your brand is not the easiest thing to do. We do not envy Turinese Juventus, around whom there are a lot of imitators who do not know the word innovation. The current UV logo is very simple. Two letters, J, bold and thin. But the old emblem was made more interesting and proved to be especially popular with smaller teams. For example, it was defiantly adopted by Swedish Juventus IF, founded by immigrants from Italy, and also Brazilian Galo Maringa, who appeared in 2006. These guys used the same oval shape and vertical stripes, but changed the bull to a rooster, changed the colour of the line from gold to red, and put in their name. And the act of Juventus from Bucharest was not appreciated by the Bianconeri, and they threatened to sue them for copyright infringement. The resemblance is too obvious here. In the end, the Italian side forced the Romanians to change their name and logo, and now the twin team is called Daco Getica. Now here's an unexpected twist. Take a look at the logos of Bayern Altsenau from the German 5th Division and the national giants Bayern Munich. You probably think that it was Altsenau who stole the logo from the top club, right? Not at all. In this story, it was the small club that was the first to come up with its logo back in the 1920s. But the Bayern crest in its current round shape was introduced in the 1960s. Oh, those treacherous Munichers! Not only do they take away the best players from competitors, 
they also took away someone else's logo. Chelsea and their emblem is no exception. The Londoners logo was taken by the Dynamos team from Zimbabwe. They slightly changed the lion, added stars instead of balls, but in general the image is almost the same. And since the African club is half a century younger than its English counterpart, it's easy to understand who stole the emblem from whom. However, Dynamos did bring their own thing to it, adding the inscription Glamour Boys. Glamorous, but definitely not the most creative. And here's what French club Chambly, who recreated the logo of Inter Milan, came up with. Now in this case, the borrowing is not accidental. Chambly were founded in 1989 by two brothers, Italians by origin and big fans of Inter. Well, they made a free advertisement for their favourite Nerazzurri and at the same time came up with the club with a seemingly unique emblem. Although later Chambly did renew their crest. But New York City, which are part of the City Football Group and managed by the Sheikhs who own Manchester City, were also inspired by Inter's emblem and did not think for too long. The same round template, three letters inside, but slightly different colours. But not only City Football Group managers can copy logos, but they are imitators as well. This February, the insolence from the Chilean league Santiago City, who play in the country's third division, decided to come across like Manchester City, only to receive a serious response. The citizens' lawyers contacted the Latin parodists and expressed dissatisfaction in a letter due to the unauthorised use of their trademark and design. However, it doesn't seem that the claims of the English giant affected Santiago City. The Chileans still do not hesitate to use the previously approved emblem, posing as one of the members of the CFG concern. So let's finish with a club with slightly less hype surrounding them, but believe me, the story here is also interesting. Glasgow Rangers and the Brazilian Flamengo each use two versions of their logos. One appears on official websites, television, printed materials, and the other one is printed on the football strip in the form of abbreviation. In the first version, there are no glaring similarities, but the club's letter version is almost identical. Both Rangers and Flamengo have the letters RFC. Okay, everything is clear with the Scottish club. This is a transcript of Rangers Football Club. But why do the Brazilians depict the same letters? The thing is that the full name of the club sounds like Cluba de Regatas do Flamengo. That is, the Flamengo Regatta Club. So who stole it from whom? Rangers were founded much earlier, and there's a legend that the first Flamengo squad was partially from Scotland, and the team's kit was imported from the UK. The Brazilians probably liked the ideas of the Glasgow club and decided to keep the similarities. Rangers fans seem to have no indignation about that. Guys, we have many more interesting stories about football clubs' logos for the second part. Tell us if you're interested in watching the sequel. This is Top Football. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.